Hello everybody, welcome back, fellow Elector Counts of the Empire, the Glorious Empire, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Where did we leave it? Let's, let's not mince words, what the fuck were we doing? <laughs> we, we wiped out Skarsnik, Dotrek is going to come back and do a little bit of recruiting, we thought. We've got to go and deal with Vissenland, the treasonous pigs, absolute traitorous dogs of the Empire. Can't have that. We've got to put them down and get rid of them. Take over their land for ourselves. Why have we got so many event messages? Oh my goodness. Fine, we'll just ignore it all. So, Altdorf is being upgraded, if I remember correctly. Yes, we're going to spend our reasonable treasury on upgrading a lot of these buildings. Getting the stables up will be kind of cool. Um, and crucially, getting the gunsmith built. Ah, gunsmith. So that we can get mortars for the... Um, objective the, the quest but also to have mortars because they're pretty good um and i love artillery i've not really talked about it artillery is so my jam handgunners as well oh so good and war wagons because they're kind of cool so that will be good as i said i don't think i'm going to get like a full stack or anything in gotrex army but because of money reasons but we should be able to get some reasonable troops in there and uh take a step forward after that we do have a bit of prestige. How we? How are? Listen. Are we like? Yeah, most people are good with us. What's the easiest way to check fealty? Probably on this screen, right? Oh my god, as I, I didn't really think about it, but obviously, as Azag owns Ostermark, so he's technically the Elector Count. It's like, hmm, <laughs> you know, yeah, hmm. Jesus, yeah, we got to deal with Azag. I think, in fact, we're at war now, right? Because we went into war with Talabeklin. So it's kind of awkward because we're at war with Azag and with um, Vissenland. So, not ideal. We need to keep Gelt sweet. We need to keep Marius Lightdorf sweet as well. We are, of course, with Talibakland are okay. So, yeah, we're good there. So, maybe we need to just make sure we're good with uh, Averland and um, Solund. Okay. So, if we take out these noobs. Okay, I saved you from a really bad sneeze, right? Um, if we take out these noobs, we'll get Electric Count of this and Land. So, Missile Resistance, Missile Strength for Artillery, Recruit Rank for Artillery, Upkeep Reduction for Electric Count State Troops. I assume they all do that? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they all do no, that. And it's stacking. So, the more the more um, counties that we have, obviously, we'll have a stacking upkeep reduction. We will get Bloodbringer, which is melee attack plus 10, weapon strength, income for post-battle loot, and the Vissenland Runefang ability, which is a debuff for everybody around. Enemies, obviously. Really big debuff to speed, 48% and minus 10% figure. And then we'll get the Nuln Iron Sides, which are handgunners, which is very, very exciting. Would absolutely love to have those, so not going to complain there. Not the end of the world that we have to go to war with these. However, no we're not, are we? We're not at war with Azag. Obviously, that's the Sterling Rebels. Right, hold on. Oh, we're at war with Skull Smashers, Vissaland, and War. Oh, it was the um the Wargrove. It was the Wargrove who we're now at war with by proxy. Okay, we're not at war with Azag, but obviously we're going to need to be. Um, right. So let's just have a little chat with Averland. All right. We okay? We have military access. Okay. <laughs> okay. The Golden Order. I could go into Military Alliance. I'd rather not, though. He's trading with Miss, uh, Missenland. With Missenland. Um, he's very friendly with the Dwarves, which is fair enough. But anyway, we're okay. Uh, we ought to just check those fealty numbers, because I didn't really look. It is time. 10 out of 10. Oh, in fact, they offered um, they offered Confederation, didn't they, to be fair? 5 out of 10. Hmm, okay. We need to make sure we keep these guys sweet. Although, uh, maybe it's... um. Yes. Maybe it's more... What am I doing? This is the wrong screen. Maybe it's just... No, it's still the wrong screen. Maybe it's... Uh, <laughs> fealty is like completely separate to relations. Well, it is. But maybe this won't save us having good relations. But I am going to just spend 60 to improve those relations and just make sure we're uh, in a good spot with Averland as much as possible. Obviously, they're going to be under a lot of pressure from the vampires. Right. I think I've chatted shit enough and we're ready to end turn. So let's do it.
Okay, well now we're at war with the <laughs> with Azag. Oh, allied with Sylvania. Oh, it's about to get sweaty. Oh, he's coming as well. Okay, all right. It's about to get really sweaty out here. Greetings from Sigma. Uh, listen, a military alliance is probably a bit far right now, Kislev. You're at war with Osland? Oh, no. Well, I don't really want to go to war with Osland. Oh, my God. The, the Empire is disintegrating. Sorry. It is good. Don't really want a defensive alliance either. Listen, I've helped you out. You're fine. What? Has <laughs> this upgraded to level 2? Yeah, because I don't think it has an Empire captive by default, right? You what? Fucking skull smashers. Okay. All right. Well, let's get that saving. <laughs> um, so, what have we got? They've got a really wounded army, especially the main army. Well, not the main, but the bigger one. We have got a Nagbad. We've got some Orc boys. We've got some Gobbo Spears, some Orc Arrow boys, some Goblin Archers. They have got some Stone Trolls. And they have also got Spear Chuckers, which is a bit upsetting. Uh... Icky Spider Killer is mounted, which probably helps me a little bit in terms of he can't come up on the wall. If he's riding a spider, I feel like he should be able to come up on the wall. Imagine how cool that would be. But anyway, Orc Boys with Spears, a bunch of Orc Boys, all very wounded though. Snotlings, a couple more archers, Stone Trolls and some more artillery. We should be okay here. We should be okay, but let's, um, let's make sure of it. Right then, they're coming at us, our mortar is firing, we have it set up at the top of the ramp there, this classic map, we've seen it before, we're keeping our knights in reserve, just chilling by the gate in case they do come through, they probably won't, got our crossbows at the front, having a jolly old time, opening fire, made sure we got control of all the towers, uh, t t t t t towers, that's the word, <laughs> looks like their night goblin war boss is coming straight up, so we might, might want to move our captain over. But for the moment, we're just firing away. They do have those annoying spear chuckers, but the, the mortars have chosen to open fire on these. We've actually destroyed one, Luke. So maybe the mortars can actually get rid of them. I'd much rather the mortars were firing there, but I chose to give them free will. Perhaps unwisely. Got a lot of orc boys coming up this hill, actually. Come on, chaps. I mean, this guy's already on the wall. Come on. Oh, the general, the captain's coming, sorry. We do have some great swords here, to be fair. If you guys would just like to uh, turn around and maybe... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> give him give him a stab. Captain comes over. There's ladders coming up everywhere. Look and just see them there. I love these banners. The banners are so cool. Look at this. Captain and the great swords. That gobbo is not going to be around for long. I guarantee it. Taking a lot of damage. Do you need to get these crossbows out? Because there are some nasty orc boys coming up the ladder. Going to have to swap them around with these halberdiers. Put them in position. What's happening at the gate? The trolls are attacking it, but they are routing almost. How are we doing? It's only at 3%. Oh, in fact, are they routing? Oh, look under the gate. Yeah, they are routing. Why did the gate open? <laughs> please, please close the gate. Please close the gate. All right, we did get our halberdiers in place. Orc boys are coming up the ladder and being met with some very pokey, sharp sticks. Which is what we like to see. Excellent. What have we got going on over here? Orc boys have kind of made it up. I've given the Imperial Tactics buff to this swordsman unit, as you can see. For some reason, they're sending their, their arrow boys up as well, which is... Although he's come up! And he's just shanked one of our soldiers immediately. Get rid of him, lads. Chuck him over the edge. Shoulder barge. Kick the ladders down. Haven't you seen Lord of the Rings? Just kick the ladder down. There are a few orcs up here now. I have left that unit over there. Partly to guard. Partly to make sure this... Um, partly? Partly to make sure this tower remains held. I'm half expecting the reinforcements of theirs to come over this side. And I knew that this battle would be won anyway. It's just a bit of a grinder. There are a lot of orcs, though. Like I said, the, I mean, the captain will help. Here he is, look. He's done a 360. 360 no-scope on that orc boy. Jesus. How's the mortar doing? 
what, what, what are we doing? You're not firing at the trolls, are you? It's literally two trolls. We are. I mean, that one did give them a bit of a headache. In fact, they don't want anything to do with that. Looks like we have a couple of uh, Orc Boy units over there. And they almost made it to the wall. I had shuffled over some swordsmen and these uh, Albadiers as well to deal with it. But they do, in fact, leave. So they will not be coming up. The trolls nearly made it, bless them, but they are leaving. Check on the gate there, 3%. Okay, so they're not going to break that anytime soon. In fairness to them, as we know from experience, you are not allowed to bring any siege equipment. This lot are breaking now. It's a shame we don't have a mage or something, right? We could be watching, like, fancy spells and stuff. But we do have a mortar, and I really haven't given it quite enough screen time when it's aiming at actual... Look at those snotlings, they're tiny! I mean, I know they're meant to be. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that mountain. Really, really nice. I mean, it's a nice map. It's just, it would be better if, if you could attack with siege equipment. Are we firing at trolls again? <laughs> oh no, we are hitting the snotlings, to be fair. Lots of green skins running away. And honestly, this is uh, this is how it plays out. Oh, look at the bodies. I have a quick look at the bodies. I was going to leave it there because obviously we can see what's happening. We are. I take it this is the spear chucker. Just hold on a sec. Yeah, look, here they come. Ooh, I tell you what, they are shredding this unit slightly at the side. I don't know how they got up after that. In fairness, I did move these crossbow unit over, over here because I, I wasn't really sure what to do with them. But yeah, obviously we're going to win. This has been a real mess of, of the battle here. Just bodies everywhere. Um, we did miss our knights just chasing down a couple of units that routed. Hey, <laughs> you can see. They routed into the castle, which is a very strange mechanic. But I wanted to chase them, make sure they don't uh, come back and give us any problems. So we're just casually running them over. But yeah, that's going to do it. Successful defense. Wasn't really ever in danger. Lots of dead orcs. Okay, relatively easy and uneventful, as we thought it might be. <laughs> Soon saw them off. Oh, Armour of Destiny. Okay. Um, I suppose we'll take the treasury. I don't really care about the, the buff. For that little garrison, I assume then. Oh, okay, one thing at a time. Kislev! Oh, yeah, Declaration of, of Friendship for sure. Kislev and the Empire share a common history across hundreds of years. In the Great War Against Chaos, we fought side by side against the Chaos Hordes. Now, with Norsken tribes threatening their borders and rumors of Chaos forces gathering in the east and north, Kislev is again in need of our help. Should we renew our old friendship and send material support to aid them in their struggle? Of course! Tax rate minus 5%, but increased uh, growth. Kislev and the Imperial States can no longer declare war. Okay, interesting. Do that. Is that going to stop their war with Oslin? Maybe. Is this Oslin? I think it is. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe it'll kick in next turn, or maybe they won't. We will see. Anyway, Armor of Destiny, quite nice. Armor plus 5. Ward save 5%. Physical resistance 3%. The Armor of Destiny is worn by a great hero among every generation. Their fate entwined with the ensorcelled suit. What is, um... What's Carl wearing? Nothing, right? Yeah, might as well give him it. Hib it? Him it. Ribbit? Um, okay, another point for Luther. He can now get Studious Pupil, which I think is going to be worth. What was I doing? What did I spend, like, my next point on? Does anyone know? I guess nothing. <laughs> I guess... I thought I'd, like, started doing something, but I haven't. So, never mind. Let's get Studious Pupil. Eepal. Good. Right. I wanted to go and siege Nol, and that's probably out the window because Azag is, is here chilling. So, I think we can't reach him, but we're probably going to go sit in Grumberg for a moment. That will allow us to replenish. Oh, it's not much. Why is it so low? Do I have a debuff? Oh, unseasonable weather. Fair enough. Minus 20%. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll sit in there anyway. It'll be cheaper. Everything will be delicious. We can get... Go check back this way. I will move him slightly left, because you never know when an army's going to come diving out the trees. 
He will obviously not replenish much either, which kind of sucks. <gasps> Wait, can we get an Imperial Foot in F? Yes. Oh, he's one there. Oh, maximum number of recruits into the... Oh, no, units. That's because I'm 20 out of 20. What? Can you have more than one? I thought it still said zero, even though we'd finished the cooldown. Am I, like, cracking up? Maybe. But it looks like I can get them in um, in the second army, so we're absolutely going to do that. Maybe you get one in every army. Maybe I'm really dumb. I don't know. How does this work? Somebody tell me how it works. It is expensive, though. Holy crap, that is expensive. 512 against, like... It's like five units. Well, it's not. It's a bit less. But, like, four and a bit units of swordsmen. That's pretty rough, isn't it? Bear in mind, we, we don't have... We've got... Uh, Look, about a thousand spare, and possibly less if the trade dies. That's a bit rough, but I feel like we've got to have it. <laughs> but why? I don't know. I just feel like we've got to have it. Maybe we don't, though. Maybe we should just get... Uh, we could get pistolers, but this is going to be done, and then we can get, like, outriders instead. Once we get the gunsmith... Godtrek, Now, obviously, the swordsmen and whatnot won't have the same level of power as um, Al Francis. Not even close, but Godtrek they do still have the, the, the research buffs, which is nice. Godtrek what do I want to do? Do I want to just get, like, some spears and crossbows to kick things off a bit? At least get him some units, right? Just get him like a mini army with some useful units. I think that's probably the play. I think that's what I'm going to do. A couple of spears of shields and a crossbow unit. And I think that'll do for now. We're going to wait one turn for that. And I think that's about it. So I think we're ready to just end turn again. There's nothing I need to do diplomacy wise. If there's any trade available, I will take it, but there isn't. So no, I think we're just rolling. We're just rolling. Let's go around again. Marienburg, hello. Uh, no. <laughs> no military alliances. I don't want to get dragged into any more wars. Kislev, no, I'm sorry. I want to help you, but... Really? Do you know what the worst part is? I've got to fight this again. Do I even want to show you guys this, or should I just fight it on my own? It's going to be boring, right? They do have some extra units. I'll see how it goes, but I might... I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I'll make a decision later, but I am going to fight it. I know. Okay, you don't need to say it. I know this is going to be basically the same battle as last time. You're like, you could have just not shown it to us. I know. Um, but we're partly here because I do, I do do something to make it slightly more interesting eventually. Um, they do once again have the spear chucker, which is a bit annoying. No doubt the mortars are having a go, yes. Look, we can see goblins getting blown up. Again, I wish I wish we had a wizard. But th there is there is a reason I decided... Well, partly. Partly because, listen, we're in this together. If I have to sit through the boring battle, so do you. But I do, I do just sort of shake it up a little bit going forward, eventually. Let's put, like, what are you doing? Just turn around. How is there the same two trolls as well? Like, you've done this before. You, you've made this walk before, survived, and yet you do it again. I don't know how you survived last time, but you're probably not going to survive another go. Look, even your, even your war boss is like, nope. Fuck it, I am out. All right, so their reinforcements are making their way up. These trolls, surely they're going to die. Wait, are they actually going to get away? Two of them again? Oh, no. No, they're not. Maybe this one? We'll find out. Right. How are we doing then? Got the mortar at the bottom of the uh, ramp here. Really taking risks. Most of our units are just not even going to see combat at this rate. Mortar's still firing. 
I wonder how many people clicked ahead to like dodge this battle. Listen, trust me, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of vague interest. It's only vague. But there you are. At least we got rid of them because they were annoying. That said, don't they have another one? Oh no, they don't. So that should be the end of that. They do have a, another war boss. Not mounted, but he's going to be coming up to have a little word with us. If the mortar doesn't hit him first. I'm sure it will try and waste loads of ammo. Well. <laughs> Let us pass the time. Do you know, listen, here we go. <laughs> let's let's times two it a little bit. There's nothing to see here. I know. Grinding them down. The mortar's having a good time. We actually move the general across because we see this boy coming. So here comes our, our captain. He's like, oh shit, let's get over there. Speed up, come on. Let's be fair, how many... How, like... Also, something to bear in mind, which will become relevant in a moment. There are night goblins, and we can't see them until now. We can see them because we're in a replay. I could not see them. And now you're seeing the moment of interest as I come galloping out. I'd already ordered it before this unit was revealed. I haven't seen that one until, like, now. <laughs> and I was just going to run down the arches. So we've sallied out. There's fanatics going through. We're actually not doing too much damage to us. In fact, they're killing themselves, which is absolutely fantastic. Although we are covered in blood. Holy crap. I decided to just sally out with the knights and run down the archers. Can't see any of this, by the way. This is all night goblins. <laughs> Look, and I'm like, oh. Kind of unfortunate that our heroic charge... I mean, we're getting... Oh, look at that, though. More fanatics. They're going to hit their own? Not quite. So, yeah, there's night goblins. Like, obviously, there's orc boys that I can see, but... Bloody night goblins and stork. I just forgot all about them. Look how much blood is on us now. So, yeah, we sallied out to run the archers down. Quickly realized... We could get overwhelmed here, so we're going to bail. <laughs> but some of them are stuck. It's um, it's a rough time. It's a rough time, but I'll tell you what, they're blobbing up nicely for the mortars. Look, here we come. I mean, what is that? What is that shot? Slightly better there. Starting to get hit. They're all just furiously chasing down my knights, Look, We're just like, nope. Get out. Get out. It's like like the retreat to Minas Tirith. Like, <laughs> quick. Run. Hopefully they don't have a Nazgul. Anyway. We're obviously going to make it back. Just about. I mean, this, this unit's limping back. Is, have we still got a unit stuck? Yeah, here we go. Like, why are they so slow? The banner carrier is all the way back here. Don't die! You've got the banner! You can't die! Come on! Just just go round! Oh no. I mean, they're not hitting him. Maybe they think it's a surrender flag. Oh! Oh, he's free! He's free! Let's get out of here, shall we? Come on. Back to base. Alright. Open the gate! We've opened the gate. Our knights are home. The second unit will obviously make it. And obviously these guys are uh, going to get pelted to bits. And I, I, won't, I won't put you through that any longer. So another easy defense. No problems. On to the next one. Alright, well, that was trivial. But at least the mortar crew had a good time, right? Uh, <laughs> I did forget about the night goblins. <laughs> They're going to come back again, probably. Like, Christ. I guess we will take the buff now, since they're going to come back. Bloody pain in the ass. What a waste of my time. <laughs> Are we doing growth-wise there? We should check. But not yet. Because Beastmen attack Elector's State. Oh, my goodness. Osland, who are annoying me by being at war with, uh, with Kislev, but they are still one of the Elector uh, counties. So Osland has come under attack from Beastmen in the region of Wolfenberg and are appealing to you for military assistance. Why don't you appeal to Kislev, you little shits? Will you come to their defense to join the battle or leave them to fight off the attackers alone? Well, I mean, obviously we're going to help. I'm not going to do anything. Uh, nothing. <laughs> uh, 
literally the opposite of what I meant. I'm not going to do nothing. I think we'll have to uh, send the military force, to be honest. I think that's the play. Um, which I, I know this whole episode is turning into pointless battles, but it's got to be done. We could just send, like, scouts, but that doesn't really help. And I don't really want to spend the prestige, so... Um, but it's not even auto-resolvable. All right, well... Actually, this is pretty dirty. They've got a Saigor. Two units of Minotaurs. Can we even win this? We've actually got a Toddbringer. Not the Toddbringer, but we have a Toddbringer. Can we win this? Do we have walls? No, terrain grassland. No, maybe we do. Maybe we do have walls. Let's see. Oh, we do. Okay. But I'm going to start at the back again and probably not be able to get my um, handgunners on the wall. Okay, well, the wall should swing it. Once again, we are being forced to run in <laughs> from the back of the city. Not ideal, and holy crap, that's quite a lot of beastmen, isn't it? They are on the walls. They're holding. They don't... Like, Oslin don't actually have a lot of ranged units. They've got these crossbowmen. Oh, crap. Here comes a rock. Oh, it hit the gate. Oh, it still hit them a bit. This Saigor is going to be a problem. I've got a feeling it's the uh, Regiment of Renown one as well, right? Oh, God. Here we go. Look. Okay, luckily, it's mostly hitting the gate. But here we go. Look. A strong beastmen army. I mean, Ungor are not strong, but they've got numbers. And I tell you what, the gore, the gore herds are decent. And they are coming along with the beast lord. They've got ladders. And at the top, to greet them, is some shitey swordsmen, which are probably not buffed at all. Here come all the ladders that are clunking onto the walls. In some ways, I wish Urukai were coming up them, but they're not. It's beastmen. They are attacking everywhere. Now, they're not on the gate yet. Which is kind of weird. You'd think they'd be rushing to get their Minotaurs on the gate. God, I don't want to fight them. The Saigor. Oh, God. Hopefully he runs out of ammo soon. He's going to throw another one. What's it going to be, Saigor? Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, and that was a very good hit. And look at this crossbowman unit. Already, like, dead before the Encore even get on the wall. And the spearmen as well. Oh, they're trying to bring some spearmen over from here to help. The Beast Lord is up on the walls. Here come my units. Finally, my own Toddbringer. Look at that helmet. That is so sick. Come on. Come on, Toddy. Come on. He's going to get up there and have a have a duel with this Beast Lord. But there's, getting, there's a lot of gore getting on the walls. We've got swordsmen. I decided to try and... I mean, this unit's really getting in the way. I don't know why they're holding back. This is fine. My spearmen and handgunners, we're going to go over to the gate. You will see that changes rather soon. Our other unit of swordsmen is coming here, trying to get round here and join the fray. We can't leave our, our good friend Toddbringer to fight both the Beast Lord and all of these horrible gores. Going to need some of the Empire's finest to come and give him a hand. But he's fighting bravely. Look at him. He just ran in. Where are the swordsmen? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we do have one unit up over here. Look. Just trying to cut off most of these. There's more and more gore coming up onto the walls, though. Don't even want to look at the other side of the map. I hope that Toddbringer... Oh, God. I hope that Toddbringer can beat the Beast Lord. It's looking a little bit rough, isn't it? How are we doing HP-wise? Oh, it's kind of even. In fact, the Beast Lord's lost a fair bit. These gore at the side won't really help. And the fact that all of our spearmen are... Spearmen? Swordsmen. Are pinned against the outer edge of the wall is not helpful either. Um, oof. He is going to knock us over. No, they haven't. Stick together. You can do this. You can do this. You can see I bring my units away after realizing that, honestly, there are so many units over here and there's a lot of archers. I really didn't want to take any more, like, archer fire. So we've left Oslin to try and hold the gate as best they can. What is the gate at? 66%. Is it the Saigor doing that? Although somebody's hitting it. But it's only Gores. Are they, like, good at that? Or was the Saigor hitting it as well? With rock. I mean, they are grinding it down quite quickly. Look. For just a melee unit. Alright. The Minotaurs are holding. I'm worried about that Saigor. I'm watching him. I'm not even watching the battle. 
So I tried to put my handgun as, like, somewhere useful, but they can't see. They can't shoot a bloody thing. Oh my god, is the cycle throwing rocks at us now? I wanted to put them here. And, well, like, because, bear in mind, you can't put them here and have them face the right way. Oh god. Okay. Um, it was really awkward. I really wanted to put them somewhere where they could shoot across, but it was it's just really painful. I couldn't get them anywhere useful. Just as Grandmaster. Bad times. Up upgrade the replay. We need his name. His name is like Nud Todbringer. So, anyway, <laughs> it's talking absolute shit. We fight on. Swordsman and Nud. I mean, to be fair, the Beast Lord. Those rocks are scary. The Beast Lord does have less HP, so we're doing a decent job. And I tell you what, over here, we are starting to mop up a little bit. Yes, look at that. They are routing. Our spearmen and swordsmen trying to get something done. But over here, it's looking pretty rough. This unit have got... And bear in mind, the Minotaurs haven't even got involved yet. Oh, in fact, they're through the gate. They are through the gate. You know what this means. They are going to come stampede. I mean, I don't know why the Minotaurs aren't coming. Hello? Oh, they're coming now. <laughs> never, never mind. Stay there. Let's zoom out. We haven't really had a proper overview of how things are going. We have got this unit of swordsmen that were holding the, the capture point. They're engaging the gore herd. Maybe they'll be able to last a little while. The walls... Yeah, there's still a few spearmen here, but generally they're in trouble. The Minotaurs are coming through now. And what's the Saigor doing? He's still throwing rocks. When are you going to run out of rocks? Jesus. It's not helpful, is it? That is not helpful at all. Right, how are we doing? He's running away from us, the cheeky bugger. We're doing okay. We're holding. But I tried to put the... <laughs> I tried. I was like, please, do something, but it's not... Oh! <gasps> How much damage did that do? Where's the banner? Show me the ba- Oh my god, it did loads of damage. Ew. I really regret standing up there now. Come on. Get him. Get him. Let's turn off the UI for a second. Oh my god, it's worse. You can oh, we can just about see him in there. Look. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, they're routing. We can do this. They're kind of routing. The Beast Lord. Get on him. Kill him. Come on. My very own Toddbringer. Let's get it done. We've got reinforcements from over here now as well because they got rid of that lot. We're trying to close close in and, and just... If we could just wipe out this pocket of beastmen, we might have a chance. We might have a chance. Oh my god, another rock hit us, didn't it? Oh, that's terrible. There's quite a lot through the gate now as well. I'm trying to get the, the, the handgunners lined up properly. I mean, those are routing beastmen, right? Yeah, but it's not going to be long. They're going to be on the capture point. They are swarming the streets of Wolfenburg. Look at this. They, uh, the yeah, the Minotaurs. We're in trouble here. Look at the balance of power. The yeah, the Austin's defenses have completely collapsed. The Saigor is going to walk through the door, absolutely unhindered, and we are actually the last pocket of defense. We should be able to clean this up. Oh no! Look, how is he taking so much damage? We were winning. Oh no, Toddy. Look at the bodies. I tell you what, we put our lives on the line for the Empire today. We're obviously looking like we're going to lose. The handgunners are trying to do a little bit of work here. Come on, lads. Reload. Oh, we're moving. We're moving. Oh, because they're taking the capture points. So we're going to move and see if we can get a few shots off there. This is rough, dude. Oh, it looks like we're routing. In fact... Oh, he tried to route and he was killed. I can't even see him in the mess of bodies. Oh, Toddbringer. Fight on, brothers. Avenge. Avenge Toddbringer. Kill the Beast Lord. Kill his men. Well, not men. Beast men. How are we doing? We're reloading. Why is the camera being janky? I don't know. Okay. I mean, ooh, oh god. <laughs> Run! Run away! There's a Cygore back there as well. Although there are some men getting in the way, but I think they're just running. Yes, they are. All right, gentlemen. It's going to have to be a last stand situation. Kill as many as you can for the Empire. Take them down with you. They're coming. Getting a few shots in, but they're still coming. Oh, they're starting to rout. Another volley. Another volley. Reload. 
Oh, we didn't reload in time. The swords are out. Are they? A few cheeky shots. A few guys at the back are shooting. In fact, we're bringing the swordsman down. Why? Did we win? Oh, yeah, he's routing. I mean, we're not going to kill him, but he's routing. Good job, lads. Look at the carnage on this bit of wall. There's a, I tell you what, there's a lot of dead beast men here. If we just... Oh, God, the side door. Oh! We are losing the victory point, but obviously... Oh, my God. The, the, the battle is lost, so we don't really care. <laughs> it's like, let's kill the Saigor and take him with us. Holy cow. Well, anyway, just quickly. Look, there's nowhere near as many dead beasts on here. It's mostly Empire men. So I think we've done more than a good job with our side of things. We have taken a lot of beast men with us. Unfortunately, we're not going to... Oh, God, look out. Pantomime villain over there. They haven't even seen him. Oh, they have. They've turned around. Shoot him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Oh no. Oh, he's routing, is he? No, and it looks like our men are routing. And I'm afraid that is the Valiant Defeat. I'm even going to leave it there. Usually I would edit out the, uh, the defeat screen, but I decided to leave it because I wanted to see that Valiant Defeat all the way to the end. That was a tough one, wasn't it? That was a tough one. Oh, I can't zoom out. We can only scoot around at this height. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Man. The, the Minotaurs were pretty much untouched. And these ones as well, look. They were just coming in. But I think uh, we were undermanned and we did the, uh, did the Empire proud. Oof. They, uh, <laughs> they had too much, didn't they? It was a valiant defeat. We, we certainly gave it an effort. I mean, it would have helped if we could have started, you know, in the defense with everyone else and not had to run through the castle. Could have had our handgunners do a little bit more because that was a bit awkward, but... Christ, they had too much, so fair enough. Looks like Wolfenberg is not going to be there too long. It's asking me to replace the general. I mean, the sad thing about that, though, is that that army's not going to be there, is it? Unless it stays around, but I don't think it is. But I have to spend the money either way, which seems a bit silly. So I think we'll get maybe a Huntsman. I mean, that's a terrible buff for a Huntsman. Oh, they're missile strength plus 10%. Let's get Helmut von Hassel. Oh, maybe we keep that army, but that's not really what I want to do. I mean, they've burnt it down. And yeah, we do keep that army, right? But... Do I want it? Not really. Because, I mean, I mean oh, there's handgunners, though. Carry the wounded. Could we make it home with that army and <laughs> hand over the units to Gotrek? Maybe. Maybe. But we'd, we're also spending a lot of money. I don't think it's worth it. I think we just disband it, to be honest. I mean, the handgunners would be really nice. We've got to walk all the way back. We'd, we're not, we're bearing in mind we're garrisoned right now as well, so we'll have less money than that. I don't think we even go there. I think we just ban the lot. It was only meant to be a temporary army. Right, I didn't see where Wurzag went. Maybe back to the bad. Um, okay, wait. Aldorf is done. So, the biggest concern for me is getting the gunsmith. So, let's get that up and going. 4K, Jesus. Um, and then we absolutely need to get all these upgrades as well. Because it's money and... And all sorts. So it's going to be expensive. But I do want them all. I mean the tap. The tap room going up to a tavern isn't crucial. Does it? I mean it does give up key reduction. Re replenishment rate. Up key reduction while you're here that is. And does unlock the witch hunter. I would like it. What else am I going to build here? We didn't even plan. Probably nothing for now because money is a little bit tight. And I do want to get these upgraded. Which shouldn't... Yeah, in two turns we'll have enough um, growth to get these done. Especially since now things are really kicking off. These garrisons are not going to be what they need to be. So... I think for now... I don't want to move this army where it's going to be okay. Hopefully it'll be alright here. For now I'm just going to leave it there. Just going to upgrade those... Make sure we've got some money to spend. 
over here. Do we just carry on with that? I could get some pistol ears. I'm not really sure that I want to, though. Stable's going to be done in two turns. So's the gunsmith. We may end up recruiting mortars in this army to ferry them over to Carl Franz because he really needs to Summon kick on. Um, so maybe we just want to get like three more units and then leave it. Even that, that might be too much for the money. Although I suppose we're upgrading our income as well. Let's do the same thing again. I could get some free company militia, but I'm not a huge fan. Let's get the same again. And then we'll hold on until these things are done. And then we should be able to get some outriders and stuff. And maybe we'll load up a couple. Well, we're not, we're not going to be able to afford that much. But we'll get a few in here and then do some swapping with Carl when the time comes. For now, I think we need to roll out to uh, Vertbad. I don't really want to go into these ruins. We're going to have to leave Vissenland for now. It's kind of annoying. Maybe we don't. Maybe he's not coming. In fairness, he's not right in front of us, is he? Talabeklan's got to hold their own. So, I'll tell you what. We will actually go and, and siege Noln if that's necessary. Oh, in fact, you know what? That is literally all resolvable. I mean, I need to end the episode. Don't know why I'm carried on. Oh, we can't. Oh, we need... Um, we don't have any siege equipment. So, we let, let's get some building. But we could literally auto-resolve unless an army comes over. So, we'll just carry on. That'll be fine. Because there's no point fighting that if it's just duffer... You know, spearmen, swordsmen, crossbows, me just climbing up the walls. We've seen enough siege gameplay for now. Uh, especially with just empire units. So I think that's good. Okay, so we have a plan. Wait for these to get upgraded. Adding a few more troops here. Then we're going to go ahead and add some uh, mortars and outriders. Maybe even some knights. I don't know. We're not going to have that much money, like I say. And some of those out. Maybe the outriders, but mostly just the mortar. Probably at least a mortar is going to be swapped into here. It would also be nice to grab the Imperial Foot in this army as well, but that is a lot of upkeep. A, a lot of upkeep. I meant to check this. Two turns, and then we can build the Grand Fort. So suddenly we're going to have no money. It will help if we can take this province, establish some more trade routes. It would really help if Karak Norn grab this, because then we could trade with them as well. I don't know what they're doing. They are at war with um, some of the elves. Can we trade with Paravon? Why have I clicked on that? Oh, we've nearly finished our tech, actually. Um, so we've nearly got the plus 10 armor. Hold the phone. I thought you were ending the episode. I know. Oh, we already... We're trading... Wait, no, we can't trade with Paravon. Why can't we even talk to Paravon? Hello? They're right there. You're insinuating that we haven't met them. Oh, wait, no, it's owned by Baston. Oh, it's not even owned by Par Paravon. It's owned by Baston. Oh, and we're already trading with them. What do the men of the hammer require? Well, that's why then. Okay. We are trading with Marienburg still, right? It is good yeah. To see. Okay. All good. Can't trade. Oh, we can trade with Aaron Grad. You will drink with us. I will drink with you, but first, give me your money or your goods. Okay. Right. We need to leave it there. We know what the plan is. We know what we're doing vaguely. It'll all go out the window as soon as Wurzag. Um, not Wurzag. <laughs> Azag comes flying out of the uh, darkness. But that is it for today. So as always, it's been a good time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and I will see you next time.